Hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. God bless you. Thank you for joining me for the prayer therapy session for today. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you to all of you who are joining us on the prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Happy new month of August. God bless you. And if you're not yet um, fasting along with us, you can get started today. We are fasting for 14 days in this month from August 1st to the 14th. However you would choose to fast is fine. You can do 6 to 6. You can do 12 midnight to 6 to 3 to, to 1 to 12. Um, whatever way that you fast, um, I, would, I would encourage you to join in this prayer and fasting for this month of August. I did make the announcement in the prophetic word video. Um, that I posted on Sunday. Um, if you've not yet seen that, you can also go ahead and watch that and see what the Lord is saying to us in this season. It is our season of the revealing of the glory of God like never before. Oh yes, the glory of God is upon your life, but he wants to reveal it like never before. He has some things, some secret things to reveal to us and some strategies, uh, the things that you've been struggling to do. God wants to give you a divine instruction this month that will allow you to be able to do those things effortlessly, to be able to not have to struggle in some aspects of your life your life where you have struggled before. So go ahead and uh, follow the instruction and you can join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays so that we can pray together and be on that too. And if you're not yet joining us, mm -hmm, I'm not sure what you're waiting for. <laughs> Come join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'll leave the information on the screen here. It is 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you log on and it's saying waiting for the host or whatnot, if you're sure that you're in the right time zone, please log out and, and try to get back in. I am always on there. I am on there at 7 before anybody gets on, but I keep the line locked until 7.45 where many of the people who really love God wants to come in early and begin to pray uh, before we start at 8 o'clock. So if it's saying waiting for the host, it's either I am on there and we haven't started yet or we are done, <laughs> or you're just coming across an error message and you would like to, you will have to go get out and, and log back in. And so uh, because of, um, you know, some people coming on and just chit-chatting earlier, the Lord instructed me to block the line until 745 and people who are really wanting to pray ahead and get the, the blessing of the early, uh, the, the uh, people who are coming in early can come in at 745. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So again, God bless you. I'm just putting that out because I've gotten messages about, oh, I, I try to get on and it's not. Check your time zone, number one. Um, check that you're calling at the right time, which if you would like to come on, you can come in at 7.45 or you can come in at 8 o'clock, which is 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you are, you know, logging on with the link, um, you want to get out and log back in if you're certain that you're calling at the right time. So check your time zone, check your country time zone um, versus uh, the United States of America. God bless you. I appreciate all of you who are sending in your questions because it shows me that you were um, at least making an attempt to join us. So come join us. And so today we are going to pray for divine restoration and recompense. Divine restoration. God is speaking to us and saying that this season is the season that he's visiting some of us and, and, and wanting to restore lost time, lost glory, lost effort. And he wants to redeem years that have been lost to us. And so we have to pray into what the Lord is speaking to us. Mark chapter 11 and verse 20, from verse 24 says, therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. It is one thing to receive them when you pray, to believe that you have received them. It is another to have it. So when there's manifestation of your prayer, that's when you, you have it in, you know, and you can physically say, I, I have the answers to my prayer, but you first believe it to receive it. So you first receive it in your spirit, man, because you believe God for what you're praying for. 
and then you will have it. And the Bible says in verse 25, and when ye stand praying, forgive if you have ought against any, that your father also which is in heaven may forgive you for your trespasses. So you also, before you come to him, before you stand praying, Forgive everyone who has offended you. Forgive, release them in your spirit. I love the way that the Amplified Version says that it. it's for this reason I am telling you. Amplified just spells it out, okay? <laughs> Whatever things you ask for in prayer, in accordance with God's will, believe with confident trust that you have received them and they will be given to you. Hallelujah. It says, whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him. Drop the issue. It says, let it go, it says, so that your father who is in heaven will also forgive you your transgressions and wrongdoings against him and others. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the session has begun. So this is what the Lord is saying to us. You don't come to the presence of the Lord with a grudge against someone, with unfaithfulness forgiveness in your heart and you say I've been praying and praying and praying and this is a this is a moment for uh, for us to have a heart check yes check your heart really really think through as your father hurt you your mother has hurt you they, they're long dead but you're still holding a grudge you're still holding bitterness is it your spouse is it your co-worker is it even your children because sometimes our children can be children yes they they're just childish they don't know any better and uh and and whatever the case is the lord is saying before we pray today for what he is, he is having us pray for, which is the will of God. If you're going to pray the will of God, and if you want answers to your prayers, these are the things that must be done. So thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And so again, we're, we're praying for divine restoration. Let's go to Joel chapter 25. The Bible says, and I will restore uh, Joel chapter 2 and verse 25. Sorry, it says, and I will restore to you the years that the locust had eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. And Ivy says, I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten, the great locust and the young locust, another locust and the locust swarm, my great army that I sent among you. Nothing about your life catches God off guard. Nothing, nothing, nothing. We see even in the life of Job, the Bible says in chapter 42 and verse 10, that after he prayed for his friends, the Lord, the Lord turned his fortune. Yes, he turned his captivity, my God, and gave him double, double, double what he had before. He didn't just give him what he had before, he gave him double. And when you go to that chapter, you can read how the Bible, you know, uh, tells Tells us all the great things that God gave Job in as a recompense, as a restoration of what he has lost. Not just what he has lost, but the years that he has lost. Because many have lost years. We have lost things uh, due to disobedience, due to sin, due to unrighteousness, due to ignorance. Yes, we have missed our destiny helpers when God sent them because we lack discernment. My God, I don't know who God is trying to speak to today. And that is why we need the heart checks so that we are not praying amiss because it is possible to pray and pray for years and be praying amiss unless the spirit of the Lord helps us. My God, thank you, Holy Spirit. And so we're going to pray. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all honor because you are a great God. We appreciate you. We thank you for reaching out to us even in this season. We thank you for what you are set to do. We thank you for what you're doing now. We thank you for what you have done. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We shall back you. We barak you. We worship you. We adore you. We honor you. We exalt you above all of our problems. We exalt you above all of our troubles. We refuse to let that thing be exalted above you. We refuse to allow our ego to be exalted above you. We refuse to let our desires be above exalted above your desire, above your will for our lives. We give you praise. You are highly exalted 
and we magnify you. Oh, we magnify you. We worship you in the beauty of your holiness. You are a great God. You are a mighty God. You are a great God. You are a mighty God. And we bless you. And we give you praise. And we honor you. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Thank you for this time of prayer. Thank you for as many souls will come across this video. For you have a word for them. And Lord, we ask for forgiveness of every sin. And even asking you for forgiveness. And we, we are releasing people that we might have been holding a grudge against. Them, that we might have held in unforgiveness. We ask, Lord, that you destroy the spirit of unforgiveness in us. That we will not pray amiss in the name of Jesus. That we will be in perfect alignment with your will and your plan for our lives. We will follow your instructions that you may do in us that which you are proposed to do. And today we have come as you have asked us to pray. We pray for divine restoration. We ask Lord that you will give us double for our trouble in the name of Jesus. That you will restore to us the years that the canker womb, the locust, the caterpillar have eaten in the name of Jesus. The years that the palmer worm have eaten. The years that sin has caused us to lose the things that the the, the 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 years that unrighteousness has caused us to lose the years that that unfaithfulness to you disobedience to you has caused us to lose the years that lack of discernment and alignment with you have caused us to lose we ask that you restore oh in your mercy restore 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 let there be divine restoration by your mighty power restore marriages as you have declared oh god restore finances as you have as you have prophesied over us restore oh god even the health of your people restore spiritual health in the name of jesus restore physical health in the name of jesus do you know that for many your spiritual health is in, is why your life looks the way it is is why your physical health is the way that it is father we pray for restoration of even spiritual health in this season that we may be so in tune with you that we may become one with you that we may we may step into all that you have ordained for our lives oh in the name of Jesus that we may walk with you in obedience and never again in disobedience that we may walk with you in faithfulness oh in the name of Jesus that we will not again take you for granted in the mighty name of Jesus that as you're restoring uh, finances back to your people that you will give them the wisdom the wisdom to manage it this time that they will not return back to square one that they will not return back to that state of loss in the name of Jesus that they will not return back to that state of lack in the name of Jesus we pray Lord not only for restoration but for the grace to sustain all all that you are given to us in this season. Ah, that we will be able to maintain and retain it. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, it is not enough for God to restore you, but it is even more important that you are able to sustain the blessing, that you are able to maintain the blessing. Father, we pray for grace. Oh, that this time the joy of your people will be permanent. That nothing will be able to take it from them. That no power, no force of darkness will be able to stop what you're doing in their lives. Oh, thank you. Blessed Holy Spirit, we give you praise. Oh, for having answered. We give you praise for having answered. We give you praise for having answered. For you are the God who answers by fire in Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen and amen god bless you thank you once again for joining me if this prayer therapy session has blessed you make sure that you subscribe make sure you share the video for for others so that they also can be blessed share share the blessing don't just keep the blessings to yourself okay share the blessing make sure you leave me your comments and uh, make sure you like the video to make sure that youtube share the video to others who may need this prayer and as you're doing so you evangelize and that's really what you're doing you're helping to spread the gospel 
of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, so thank you again. You're invited to the prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I pray that you have a wonderful rest of your week. God bless you. <laughs>